Holy, time certainly flies, doesn't it? Christmas has already come and gone. It's the new year already. You know what the hell that means, dude. It's it's a new me, okay? I just spent the whole last month thinking about other people. Collectively, through the first 25 days of December, I thought about other people for probably like a whole 45 minutes. And that, that's exhausting, dude. In today's day and age, thinking about others. Long form? The season of thinking of others is gone. It's time to return, dude, back to being the main character. I'm a little bit rusty. I'm gonna need a little bit of inspiration. So today we're gonna check out Reddit's I'm the main character. Karen thinks she's the queen of the world. Do not touch me. Did I ever say you Do you fucker do not touch me. Get his fucking hands off me. Get your fucking hands off me. Cool out. Hey, you keep resisting. Shit, dude, she tried to chomp him. You cannot chomp the police, dude. It's it's crazy to me to have this level of self-worth to where you think that you can just tell the police what to do. You're gonna try to bite? You're gonna try to bite someone? A police officer, nonetheless? First of all, stop putting other people's hands in your mouth. Uh, but also just to feel like you can just yell, don't touch me to the police, and they're gonna be like, oh, my bad. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> she got a little G.I. Jane in her though. <laughs> she's a fucking warrior, dude. Like a fucking is this Joan of Arc? If you do not go now, you will be buried in this field. You don't get to touch me. You are a disgusting piece of shit. The right, next time, up. no, the next time you fucking touch me. Hey, get in the car. Sit in the car. No. Time. I've served you guys food. I've sat out there and served you guys hot dogs. What? She must have been really fucking getting wild for their for them to have to fucking strap her down like that, dude. She's been a problem the whole fucking time. Yammering away. She fucking never stopped talking the entire ride here. It was just this shit. I'm gonna charge you with putting your fucking dirty ass hands on me. Get it! Go, go, go fast. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Go fast, move. He's going fast. <laughs> oh my god. Why, bro? Why? You are fucking stupid. I literally told you to stop your car. <laughs> oh my god. That was... Woo. Let's go, dude. Is this a weird episode of The Office? So interesting cold open to The Office, I feel like. Get it! Go fast, go fast. Go fast, no! Why, bro? Why? Him hitting the car, it's just... That was so f perfect. <laughs> go fast, go fast. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's watch that again, dude. I haven't even seen... The video hasn't even concluded yet. But it's just so funny. Get it! Get it! <laughs> Go, go, go fast. Go fast, go fast. Go, go fast. fast. Go fast? No. no! Why, bro? Why? You are fing stupid. I literally told you to stop your car. Why did you have to sneak past, bro? Sneak past? Why did you have to sneak? Why? You hey, you little sneaky minx. What are you doing? <laughs> I told you to stop your car. Who the fuck are you, dude? You tell me to stop my car and I don't see a guy coming down the hill? I'm not stopping my car. Suck my dick. Why? Was it worth it, bro? You just f***ing almost killed him. I was just turning the corner. Man. I know, and I told you to stop turning the corner. F***, bro, he literally flipped over your entire car. Bro, it's more than a story, bro. At the end of the day, this guy was not in the wrong. You fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, you're at fault for your buddy getting injured. You're at fault for this guy's car getting fucked up. As far as I can tell, dude. How about his car? You guys gonna pay for that shit? Just being natural. <laughs> oh, dude, if I was psychokinetic and I could just fucking... If I could just only start that car and just... You know what I mean? Just roll forward lightly. Enough for him to get out of the way. But, like, also quick enough that if he doesn't, it's over for him, you know? You're in the middle of the fucking street, dude. 
sick blazer. Like, how do you not feel goofy as hell driving with a ring light in the back of your car, knowing you're going to try to pull over somewhere and do this? Like, this was a plan, you know what I'm saying? At some point, you had to be stopped at a red light, and it had to dawn on you that you're doing this shit. You're basically playing dress up, dude. You're playing house. <laughs> Whatever. I hope it worked for your, your Tinder profile picture, dude. I hope you got some cool Instagram shots. <laughs> Playing fucking Skrillex that loud out of your truck? What year is it? Right? Who am I to talk about this guy, dude, listening to Skrillex? He's trying so hard to fucking feel cool. The last time he felt cool, Skrillex was playing. Years ago, he was on MDMA. He's trying to fucking live again. You know, he's trying to like you awaken something that's dormant deep inside of him. There's no fucking way, dude. There's zero way. Are we like, I'm not, here's the thing. I believe that that's happened, right? But that had to be a bit, right? That was acted out, huh, though? Please tell me it was. Today's day and age, guys, you can't trust a nurse that doesn't film TikToks in front of your ICU bed. Right? And this, her medicine's going to be outdated. You need to have medical professionals who are twerking on a regular basis on social media. Because they're the young ones. They're the ones who are in and modern. and They're up on the latest fucking stuff, dude. Any doctor who's not twerking online <laughs> in their office while on on shift is just prescribing amoxicillin to everyone no matter what you come in for so this guy can count your lucky stars what is the phrase count your lucky horses dude because you got a young you got a young buck you got a young one dude a young spry one who's gonna help you out oh no is that car gonna just fucking go through oh shit no never mind it's a human. <laughs> She's like, she ain't fucking having it today, dude. <laughs> she probably forgot there was a parade and the fucking streets closed down. She's late for work. Can't get her car out. She's got to walk now. I feel you, dude. That's literally... I've had that literal scenario happen to me before. And nothing says, hey, drive down the middle of a parade. <laughs> like being late for work. And cut off by a fucking parade. We got out of there, motherfuckers. Let's go. Watch your language. There's kids around. Here. I didn't say any curse words. What'd I, What'd I say? Just watch your language. What'd I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shirt, your kids can't read. Okay, we got protective dad energy. We got fucking douchebag YouTuber energy. <laughs> Gee, who, are, who do we root for? I will say, guy, probably best to just leave it. They didn't actually swear. And obnoxious people, are, they're going to be everywhere, right? You probably shouldn't be starting something with a group of guys who are younger than you. Unless you're, like, really skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, probably not a good idea. Because, yeah, your kids don't need to be around young people who are swearing and are, like, a bad influence and stuff. But even less than that, your kids do not need to see their dad get beat up. Right? Is there anything worse, dude? That's gotta be, it's gotta be up there for a lot of people seeing their dad get beat up. What? Anyways, let's see how the rest of this video goes. Read though? What are you talking about? Your kids can't read, can they? <laughs> I'm seeing your kids me. watch. Uh, you, get away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from uh, me. Uh, 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 you get away from me. Watch your kids, go wa walk away. <laughs> Who the hell is that guy? Another old head just fucking popping up out of nowhere? Oh, wa walk away. Who is this guy? Where the hell did he come from? I'm vengeance. I think these two guys are friends. Holy shit, they both end up on their back. That's a sad thing, dude. Oh my goodness, and your kids saw this. Oh my goodness, and there's no reason for Buddy in the blue shirt to even be on his back. He just kind of fell, didn't he? What happened? I mean, buddy with the blue hat, right? He, the, he, the, with the shape that he is, round, this is the only way this was going to go for him, right? So buddy comes in, saves his friend. Hey, 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 
Man, I gotta like, you can't. <laughs> this is overwhelming to watch. I don't know who to watch. Okay, I wanna find out how guy in the blue shirt ends up on the ground. So here you go. He comes up, he's approaching, face to face now, in flip flops. Why would you entertain being a tough guy in flip flops? That takes a whole nother type of tough guy. To kick ass in flip flops, you have to either be the toughest guy in the world, or it's like part of your ancient kung fu to only do kung fu in flip flops. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think his own weight got away from him there, right? So he's going down. I think he still has this guy's shirt in his hand. Everybody's got everybody's holding hands with someone. Aww. Okay, honestly, I think I can probably only handle about one more of these before my head uh literally explodes. <laughs> so before we get into it, remember to hit like, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, you'll be notified next time I upload. I'd love to see you there. She 28 telling me I'm still a baby Get your hands off me. Get your